but we are back with another video today. We are checking out this Back to the Future card game. So without further ado, let's hop right into the review. So on the front here we got Go Back in Time, Save the Future, Back to the Future, the card game. And on the back, <clears throat> we have a little bit of explanation of the cards here in visual format. Jump into the action of the Back to the Future movies. Two to six players, 100 cards. Ages 11 to adult, 20 to 60 minutes to play, and it's from 2010. So, about eight years old. On the end caps here, we have a little bit of a review of, oh, we got the hoverboard there. That's pretty cool. Flux capacitor, Looney Labs. So, Looney Labs, I believe they make the uh, Flux, Flux game? Flux. I believe Flux is the game that they make. So, uh, Andrew Looney designed this game, and it's pretty cool. So let's check out the inside. Inside, we have just a blank. Inside, on the underside, we have all the rules are basically here. Sometimes they'll print the rules on the inside of the box just in case people lose the sheet. So um, you have all that. We'll check that out in a second. And then we got, here we go, Looney Lab Games. They make Flux. We'll do a review on Flux. I got the... I believe the zombie one, the regular one, and the Monty Python one in stock right now. Um, I'll have to check those out. But they got Family Flux, Echo Flux, Martian Flux. And then they got their website, which is right there. Back to the Future card game. Are you the Trader, Aquarius, Chrononauts, and then you got Ice House Game System. Pretty cool. So there you go, some little promo for them on that. I got this little split box in the middle. And then you got your cards here, which we'll separate these out. These are all time cards right here. And then we got <clears throat> the time machine evolved right there. We got power action. We'll go through these a little bit better, but let's separate them out. And then we got all right. <clears throat> so we got. We'll start off with these, and we'll kind of just go through each one of these stacks and just check them out, and then we'll go through some of the rules. I'm not going to go through it all. We'll just check it out, though. Um, so we got the Cusco um, ID card for everyone, which is the company that Marty of the Future and Back to the Future 2 uh, worked for. And then it's got uh, the employees, which are the players or the characters in this particular card game. We got Biff Tannen, Buffy Tannen, Marty McFly III, Vern Brown, Clara Wilson, Darlene Needles, Electra McFly, Jules McFly, Marlon Barry, Clay Strickland, and Tiffany Tannen. So, and they're all Cusco on the back. So those are your your character cards that are in there. And then we have action cards. <clears throat> Race from Existence, Fading Away, Hitching a Ride, Shopping Spree, Sleep Generator, So Gullible. Time Vortex, that sounds cool. And then we got Power Action cards, which I imagine play this card to do whatever it says. All right. So then you have those, Rewind. Interesting. We got Double Back. First flip the B4 linchpin to whatever side you prefer. <clears throat> hmm. Futuristic closing. Second, if you have George's first novel. Interesting. These must tie in with the items, which are going to be the next one we're going to check out. Just get kind of familiarized with this. Emergency cash. Fire. There's the McFly novel. There's the almanac, there's the dust jacket from the almanac. Hmm. Pretty cool. 
And then we'll go through these. These are the time machine variations right here, which you can see we have plutonium, requires lightning, fully equipped, old and cranky, requires locomotion, and then fully equipped, which was the last rendition of the <clears throat> DeLorean time machine slash Doc Brown invention. And then we have the time periods and the locations. Lieutenant behaves like a jerk as usual. And all the locations, which is pretty cool. Definitely if you're a fan of the game, you would enjoy this. And the brand events, the flux capacitor, the momentous day. So, and then we checked out the Looney Labs insert. So let's check out the how to play overview here. So now that we kind of got familiarized with the cards when we're reading through this or looking at it. <clears throat> so it looks like you divide the cards into three piles here. Timeline cards, ID cards, and game cards. And then um, basically you shuffle together all the purple sided cards, shuffle the game deck cards, and then place them down Looking at their cards, there's their ID cards. Who goes first? Take the top card off the game deck. So basically you lay out all the timelines <clears throat> or the time cards. And then you're basically hopping around um, from different time part, time uh, points. And you draw basically out of the decks and you perceive to you run actions, power actions, double backs. And the goal to win, <clears throat> basically your goal is to change history as required until the vital headlines that appear on your ID card are all showing on the timeline. Once you've done this, you must uninvent time travel by successfully changing timeline B1, namely Doc Brown's original invention of the flux capacitor, the thing that makes time travel possible. Note, you can only claim victory at the end of your turn end of the game. To win, you must fix history, then uninvent time travel. This last step is tricky because unseen forces will try to stop you, even if other players don't. This is done with a set of five almost identical cards that are shuffled and placed into the B1 location at the timeline. Each time some, someone tries to flip this linchpin and isn't stopped by another player's memo, the topmost card at B1 is flipped. If you get one of the, if you get one that says mysterious forces prevent you, then that card is set aside and the game continues. But if it says Emmett Brown hangs a clock, then the game ends. Whenever you attempt to flip B1, you must first make sure no other players want to use a memo to stop you. See the section called regarding memos for more information. Well, this is just explaining how, how to win. So, and then we got timeline examples here. Check out some of those timeline examples. So I guess you have <clears throat> Clara Clayton falls into the ravine. Buford shoots the blacksmith. Buford ten and arrest for murder. Hill Valley holds funerals, and then Chasm renamed Clayton Ravine. So there you go. You got different examples of timelines right there. Different outcome timelines. Know your ID card, it basically explains the ID cards, I identity mulligan, regarding memos, here's that section, common questions, that's great, commonly asked questions is great for a board game. Uh, the game contents, it has everything that we just basically went through, and then it has the credits for the design. And this is designed in 2010, and honestly, I thought it was put together rather well. I haven't had a chance to get into this and actually play it, but it definitely looked fun enough for me to share with you guys So, and gals. So, um, But yeah, I definitely thought it was a very interesting uh, card game. I haven't seen the, the type of dynamic gameplay that this one has versus like a trading card game. This actual just card game was a little bit different, but definitely looked super fun. I like the intricacy of it. I like the depth of it. And uh, I definitely would give this a try. So if you've played Back to the Future, the card game, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, subscribe for more. I do trading cards and card game reviews every single Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. And have a great rest of your day.